Luckily, there weren't any cancellations here in Northeast Wisconsin. Just many, many delays. But for Delta's passengers, it was a day of rearranging and waiting. During that investigation, police say they recovered over $30,000 worth of heroin from that suspect. The line to see Donald Trump is growing. You could take a look behind me and see just how many people are in line. Even before the debate started, there were fireworks in the Democratic Party. So it's only natural there were even more during that debate, especially when the questions turned to the Badger State. And one way to make sure that you're not hurting yourself while you're shoveling is to make sure you don't try to throw that snow. And you guys tell me if I'm doing this right. But the doctor said when you're shoveling to use your knees and to bend down on your knees, grab the snow, pick it up, but then walk it to where you want to go and then dump it. Don't try to throw it that way. You minimize the stress and injury to your back. You may recall the story where a 15 month old was attacked by two dogs and airlifted to Milwaukee. Well, he's home now and on a long road to recovery. Feeling helpless. Basically, I watched him get attacked, but I couldn't do nothing. It's not a good feeling for parents like Alicia White. I tried to, I tried to protect them, but the other dog had jumped on me. White and her 15-month-old Jakeem Hillard were walking to visit family on a nice day when out of nowhere two pit bulls attacked on South Reber Street, resulting in nerve damage in part of his face. After spending two weeks in Milwaukee's Children's Hospital, Jakeem is finally home in Green Bay. He had like multiple staples in his head and stitches and his, his ear like it was ripped out, you know, like it was just hanging, probably like by like a piece of meat. Alicia's mom, Darlisha White, cared for her other two kids while Jakeem was in the hospital, helping them to also deal with the attack. And my granddaughter sent the dog, and you know, she was like having a, a little panic attack. Then I had to grab him and hold him and say, everything's okay, baby. It's not going to bother you. Only speaking to Alicia and checking on her grandson over the phone. Hey, my grandbaby. First time you called me grandmama on the phone yesterday. <laughs> and even through the joy of Jakeem recovering, anger is still a heavy emotion. You know, I'm feeling anger and everything. You know, everybody that was involved in this situation, everybody needs to pay for this. Because my daughter did not deserve this. And he's home now, but Jakeem has weekly doctor's visits in Milwaukee. Alicia being strong for her son, managing the anger she feels towards the dog's owner. She said that they family dogs. How's they family dogs? And then they started dragging my baby at the stroller. But as a mom, she knows. But I'm glad he's here and he made it. It will take some time for all to heal. And as of now, the owner of the dogs has been given tickets for ordinance violations. But the Green Bay Police Department is also working with the district attorney to see if criminal charges will follow. Keeping you connected, Ashley Barnes, NBC 26. For Delta customers at Green Bay Austin Straubel Airport, like Annie Toya, it has been a long day. Well, I got up at 3.30 in the morning, got out the door by 6. But even with being up and out early, Worldwide Delta delays from a power outage in Atlanta slowed things down. Nothing was going anywhere. No flights. That Delta was completely down. and We didn't expect to be able to get out for quite a while. She came to Wisconsin for a family reunion. Not much of that family just trying to get home. My other family members are um, getting out, and but there wasn't anything for me to, there wasn't any way I could get home. Like many all over the world, customers at Appleton's International Airport are patiently waiting. Thanks very much. Have a great day. Airport leaders doing what they can to make the day go smoothly. We have been going through record amounts of free coffee and we offer all of the passengers snacks. Including therapy dogs to help turn some frowns upside down. But for Annie Toya, she'll spend another day in Green Bay with Delta even giving her a hotel room for the night. The shovel and they'll get me over there and get me back in the morning. Making the best of Delta delays before getting home to Hawaii. And Delta has issued an apology, but also information about refunds and change fee waivers. For information on how those waivers work, you can visit our website. Reporting in Green Bay, keeping you connected. Ashley Barnes, NBC 26. Death is not an unusual thing for Peter Zacherl. They're good funerals. And there are some not so good funerals. He's the owner of Zacharyl Funerals in Fond du Lac, 
Um, when my grandmother at 96 passed away, it was a celebration. It was but it's not a celebration for parents burying teens. Some of them can't make it through the doorway. They're just devastated. After his fifth funeral for teens who overdosed on heroin, he decided to do something about it. We're, we're not a treatment facility asking you to come to us. We're a funeral home asking you not to come. We, we, we want to wait. That's exactly the messages these three billboards portray, asking teens to stay safe and be aware. While some say it's a bit much. Seeing a hearse on a billboard, it's a little extreme. Others agree with Zachary's message. Be good, you know, then they can uh, discourage kids from doing it. Extreme or not. We did the right thing. It makes me feel like we did the right thing. $6,000 on three billboards is worth it for Zacherl if he saves one life. And it's about if you can save just that one person, right? That's all I need to make it worthwhile.